Hello everybody, welcome back to Starry Eyed Medic. My name is Sophia, I'm 23 years old and I'm a third year biomedical science student studying in London. This channel is all about documenting my journey into medical school, the application process, tips and tricks about university in general and just anything else that goes in between about being a student. So today I want to talk to everybody about how to go about selecting the right medical school for you. And that is whether you're at school or college right now, thinking about applying to medicine in the future, or if next year is definitely been your year and September 2020 is when you start your applications, then this video is definitely for you. I also want to take this opportunity to apologise about the lighting of this video because lighting situation is a bit manic right now. Um, I'm filming from my bedroom, as you might see the change in background compared to my previous videos and uh, this is direct sunlight hence all the the shadows happening around me I know it's a bit annoying with all the shadows and stuff but please just bear with me and also if I sound a bit congested that's because I am I've somehow managed to come down with this little cold fluey type of thing in the middle of this quarantine period I don't even know how but it's definitely not COVID-19. I do not have the right symptoms and I'm already starting to get better and I started feeling symptoms four days ago. So yeah, I'll be okay. So to start off, just start by looking at all the locations of different medical schools, see if you can narrow down where you do and where you don't want to go. For me, it was pretty obvious. I have family that live in Essex, I currently live in London, I did not want to move too far away from them. So places like Scotland and Wales or Northern Ireland was definitely out of the question and I set a limit for myself as to how far I wanted to go in order to look into the medical schools. Some people might not like this method because it might seem like you're eliminating any chances before you've even looked into it and by all means if you want to do research into all 40 medical schools that the United Kingdom have please do feel free. Not too far in the distant future I will be creating a series, another series I know, I will be creating a series all about spotlights onto different medical schools where you can find information about every single medical school in the United Kingdom all in one place so please do keep your eye out for that. So for me my first tip was I started off by narrowing down locations. The furthest I decided to go to was Warwick and Nottingham in the north. The king in the north! And I actually did venture out to places like Swan Swansea and Southampton for the west and south. Even though I, it was unlikely that I would go to a place like Swansea, I did just want to have a look for myself. You can still have a further look into it if it's somewhere that's always interested you. From here on, I would then suggest you make a list or a table. Just go into Excel, spreadsheet, anything like that. Make a table on Microsoft Word, whatever works best for you. I decided to hand draw mine and I just made a list of all the medical schools that I was interested in that was within my location range, let's put it that way. And then I would write down things that were most important. So for example, the entry criteria, what interview technique they use, um, what entrance exam they look for, and anything else that I deemed was important for me. I didn't achieve the best grades at A-level and I couldn't go to a medical school that just put too much emphasis on A-level grades. So for me, a lot of medical schools by that point was already out of the question. And to be honest, if you come across a medical school, no matter how much you like it, if it's not possible for you to meet the entry criteria straight away, then there's really no point. There's not even much point in wasting that much time and effort looking into it, breaking your heart all over again, if there's no way that they would even invite you to interview. It sounds brutal, but it's true. That's exactly how brutal the selection process for medical school will be, because it's just that competitive. From here on, you could then decide which entrance exams to sit. If you didn't know, in the UK there's three. There's the UCAT, the BMAT, and the GAMSAT if you're a graduate applicant. Now you don't have to sit all three of them. I personally only decided to sit the UCAT and the BMAT. I didn't see any GAMSAT universities that I like to look off and also for me the GAMSAT was just far too expensive. If you want to see me make a full video about all free entrance exams, please do comment down below and let me know if, you, if that would be helpful to you. So deciding which entrance exams to sit will of course will help you narrow down even further what schools you can and cannot consider. So here is where you go through a brutal selection process for yourself. You then start crossing off the ones on that list that you don't match or you don't like the look of. 
whether it's entrance exams, grades, anything like that, you've got to be brutal. Just cross and move on, cross and move on. From here on, I would recommend you finish with about five to 10 schools that you really enjoy the look of. If there's more or if there's less, don't worry too much about it. This is just my guidelines. And here is where you can do the further research, the really in-depth, what's their course structure like, what are their student satisfaction rates are like, what do the students say about it, what is it like as a medical school. Any, any little or big thing that a medical school is made up of, look into that. From then you can narrow down even further to maybe about six that you really like the look of. These are the ones that you would love to go to an open day for, you've seen everything there is on paper and you really like the look and sound of it. Now you can book onto your open days. For open days I would recommend you book as early as possible. If there's a sign up link that's already on there, book onto it straight away. It's better to have signed up to something and cancel at a later date if you then can't make it than to miss it altogether because you decided to leave it too late. Some medical schools as well do also have specific open days for medicine. So make sure you research properly and check into that because you do not want to miss these specific open days. They're even better than the generic open days and make sure you do your research. I remember when I went to Warwick, I booked onto an open day. I went all the way up there, about a two hour train journey, I believe. And it turns out that it was a generic open day and the medical school was sadly not open. That meant that I had to rebook another day, that was a medicine specific open day, and go back there again months later. It was a really good day, don't get me wrong, but it's I could have just saved so much time and money if I just did my if I just did my research properly. So make sure you do yours and make sure you don't fall into the trap like I did. So the day has come, you go to you can go to an open day, take a notepad, take your favourite pen. When you're there, just make all the notes that you can. Everything you see, all the talks you go to. If they send you a plan of the day beforehand, do make a plan of it. Jam pack your day as much as possible, see as much as you can. Don't even think that you only have to see the medicine related stuff. Go see the student union, see their sports and society section. Talk to their students, find out what the vibe of the university is like pick what is most important to you about a university or what you would want in a university and you stick with that and hopefully after all of this you should end up with about four hopefully that you are absolutely in love with you can't wait to go to all four of them and that and those would be the four that you would apply to unfortunately sometimes the world is not perfect sometimes we end up with more sometimes we end up with less and we've got to do a bit more thinking then you can talk to family and friends, see how you f see how they felt. You could do a bit more research, but at the end of the day, you've just got to narrow down it, narrow it down to four. So now that I've spoken about how you could go about selecting the right medical school for you, I now just want to spend a little bit of time talking about what I ended up choosing to apply to and why. So the four medical schools that I ended up applying to were University of Oxford, Anglia Ruskin University, Brighton and Sussex Medical School, and Kent and Medway Medical School. So I'll go through each one individually and talk about why I chose these ones to apply to. But first of all, as a four, I decided to apply to two UCAT medical schools and two BMAT medical schools. If you've seen my video about my UCAT results, I'll link it somewhere, some <laughs> one of these places, um, and you will know how I felt about that. And it was only after that that I decided to sit the October BMAT exam. That was just to give myself a little bit more edge, potentially. I just thought maybe it was something that could support it a bit better, give me a better chance elsewhere, that sort of thing. So the two BMAT universities were Oxford and Brighton and Sussex. I chose them because they were both really beautiful places. Oxford was obviously a wild card choice for me. I do not have excellent grades, I have never gotten excellent grades, but it was just a shot that I decided to shoot just to see if I could get anywhere with it. I chose Angela Ruskin and Kent and Medway because they're both relatively new medical schools. In fact, Kent and Medway was actually brand new for September 2020. And I, it was just a gamble. It was just to see if I could maybe have a slightly better chance with a place that don't, aren't really sure what their UCAT cutoff would be because they've never had a cohort before. It's all about a gamble, it's all about sele selecting strategically when it comes to application that's based on what you have to apply with. <laughs> Unfortunately, I received three straight rejections from University of Oxford, Anglo-Ruskin University 
and Kent and Medway Medical School. So that was pretty disheartening for me, but good news, I did actually get an interview with Brighton and Sussex Medical School. <laughs> Shortly I will be making a video about what the interview day was like, how I found it, how I got on, the outcome, etc. So please do keep your eye out for that. To be honest guys, I wasn't planning to tell you guys the outcome of my application. Not in this video anyway. But they just sort of came tumbling out. But I'll save the, the one that I had an interview for for another video. Because I'm evil like that. So there you are. Here are my top tips of how to select the right medical school for you, including a little bit of an update at the end, if you have found it helpful. And leave me some comments down below as to what medical schools you're thinking of applying to. If I've looked at those medical schools myself, I'll tell you a little bit more about it as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, and I should hopefully see you back here very soon. Bye guys!